Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris from My Handyman. I want to teach you how to do all those small projects and small chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Today what we're going to do is we're going to assemble a little tool bag for your house or your apartment. So what we have here, so I'm going to pull this down here so you can see the bench. Little tool bag. Something like this. You can buy over at Home Depot or over at Lowe's or one of those places for about five dollars. Now, is it important to have this particular one? No. Get something that you would like. Something, uh, something that you can put away that's handy but you know where it is and you know what it looks like. Okay? So, let's fill up the bag. What do we need? What do we need? So what we're, I'm going to do is I'm going to pull over my bag, what I carry with me all the time. I carry a lot of stuff. I use a lot of these tools all the time so I keep them with me in a larger bag and it's very convenient for me. So let's pull a couple of these tools out to fill up this bag so you have some preliminary stuff. Alright, first thing you need, let's go with a screwdriver because a screwdriver is what you need especially for, like we had before, opening up a can of paint. This particular one runs about three bucks. I got it over at Home Depot. Here's the cool thing. This end, also you can turn it around. It's a flat end on one side, Phillips on the other side. Pull this out like this, put it back in here. It's a smaller flat, flat head and a smaller Phillips head. Comes out nice and easy, snaps right into place. These come out nice and easy, snap right into place. You don't have four screwdrivers, you have one, and it's perfect for you. Put it in the bag. Next thing, how about a hammer? It doesn't have to be a big hammer. This is an everyday hammer. There's larger ones with the big steel neck on them and that's great for if you're building a house they use them as framing hammers they're very heavy something like this not that heavy anybody can use it male or female let's put it in the bag next thing how about that five and one tool i was telling you about earlier in the other videos this is nice because not only is it a scraper but it also can make marks and things if you need to put a mark in the wall for some reason. This is very rigid and you'll use this more than you think. Let's put that in the bag. How about a tape measure? This one's a large one. They come in various sizes. This one goes to 35 feet. I've seen them as small as 10 feet. You need something like this around the house, it comes in very handy. Let's say you want to hang curtains. Let's say you want to put up the curtain, curtain rod for, for the, uh, the shower curtain. Let's say you want to hang artwork. You need a tape measure. And what else do you need with a tape measure? How about some pencils? You need some marking implements. You need something so you can mark on the wall, mark here and there, mark here and there. Let's put in, let's put in two pencils. And how about a small pad of paper? This way that's always in there. You always have it. What's another thing we could use in there? Oh, how about this? A level. A small level like this. So when you're putting up the curtain rod, so when you're putting up the artwork, so you can put top of the artwork itself and say, okay, now it's level. Now I can put in another nail. Nice to have. Let's put it in the bag. How about... Believe it or not, yeah, how about a piece of sandpaper? You'd be surprised how often you need a little piece of sandpaper. Let's put that in the bag. Oh, how about this? A wrench. Small wrench. Nothing big. You don't need anything larger than this. If you want, you can put in something smaller. But this is a crescent wrench. Something like this would come in real handy. Put it in the bag. How about this? This is a multi pliers. This is a craftsman. It's, it's, it says it's a robo grip. I got this. I think I paid $6 for it. 
and it's a very nice pair of pliers. Great for pulling out nails. Great, it, it, it's a wonderful tool. Let's put it in the bag. Let's see, what else should we put in? Oh, how about one of these? We need a razor knife. You can use a razor knife like this. You can use the one that where the you, you push out the blades and they snap off individually, depending on what you need it for. This is what I use, but you don't have to use use something as big as this. It can be even smaller if you'd like. Anything that would fit your hand, or maybe even something something like this. Push out the blade, pull the blade back in. Maybe this would work for you. I'll tell you what, let's put them both in there just in case. What else? What else can we shove in the bag? I think something that would really be good, maybe if you had them, is a pair of needle nose pliers. Something for that little tiny stuff that you gotta work with. Okay, sometimes those other pliers aren't gonna work so well. But something like this just might do the trick. Why not? Let's put it in the bag. I'm thinking we might need something, instead of pencils, you might need a Sharpie. Something like this is gonna come in real handy when you're labeling cans, when you're putting marks on other things. Maybe you've got a wetter surface and your pencil's not working. A Sharpie's always nice to have. Let's put it in the bag. Let's see, what else do we got? What else do we got? We've got, oh, how about some tape? We can put some, this is tape that you can put on the wall so when you're painting something small, you tape it off so you're not gonna get your, 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 uh, uh, your trim work. Uh, you're not gonna put additional paint on the trim work that you don't need. You can tape something off, always nice to have in the bag. Let's see what else we got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, I think, I think, oh, how about these? This is always nice to have. I have this. Now, in here, I have multiple screws, drywall screws, steel screws, anything that I've got that's nice and handy, nice and small, nice and compact. It's not all stuff floating around in there. Just put a little package in here and you got it. You put what you want in here. It could be screws, it could be bolts, it could be washers, it could be drywall screws, it could be anything like that. Let's say for instance, let's say for instance you need a light. Now I use this. This is, it goes on my head, and once that's on my head, I can go under the sink, I can go under a bed, I can go into a closet that has no lights, I can go up in the attic, I can go down some stairs where there's, let's say down in the basement where the light went out and you have to find the fuse box. I have this on my head and my hands are free. Let's put it in the box. We've got a nice bag so far. We get, we're doing pretty good. I think, I think that's a really good start. I think from that point on, I think from that point on, you got a good bag started. And what I've done over the years is if I ever needed an, an, extra, an extra tool for a specific project or something like that, and I thought, you know what, maybe I'm going to use that a little bit later on. I'm going to put it in the bag. Or I'm going to put it into a box where I know I can get to it, but I don't have it in the bag because I don't use it all the time. The stuff that you have in here, it's a really good collection. It's, this is the stuff that maintains your home pretty well. All the other stuff that I've got, like putty knives and, and this thing here and, and, and this thing here, you know, this, all of this kind of stuff I need for all that other stuff that I do. So I carry that with me all the time and I use them all the time. For the most part, you might open up this bag a couple of times a year. At least you'll have the tools in there. Right now you probably got, I'm going to say $50, $60 worth of tools in here. 
Yes, that sounds expensive, but you're not going to go out and buy them all at once. You're going to buy them when you need them, put them in the bag if you think you're going to use it multiple times. It's a great way to have a good starter bag. Now, some guys would probably say, well, you're going to need some crescent wrench or uh, some multiple crescent wrenches, or you're going to need a socket set. I can't think of a reason unless I'm going to open up the hood underneath my truck to use a socket set here in the house. So here in the house, this is a good bag to good, a get a good start. I think you're going to do just fine. Keep watching the videos. I'm going to try and put out as many as I can. This way, if you have any questions, if you've got any projects coming up, write them in the comments underneath. This way I can look at them, I can try to answer them for you, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This way you hit on your phone, hit the subscribe button when you go into YouTube, all my videos come up and you can take a look and see what I've got going. I'm just starting out, I only got a half a dozen or so going, but this is something that you guys need. I'm trying to do this for you. This is going to make you more capable. It's going to make you more competent. It's going to save you money. This is all basic stuff. Stuff that if no one has taught you how to do it, that's why you're looking online for it. Don't just look at mine. Look at other, other guys too. Get their opinions too. Some guys are kind of intense and some guys are a little bit more laid back. I'm just trying to help. That's all. I'll see you on the next video.